Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Thursday, which means it's time to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys, just like we do every week. Melody sent me a video of herself through the mobile app Glide asking this question. When you're at a lull, you know, like no subscribers all of a sudden for like days, how do you um, pick that back up to where you start getting more subscribers? Because I feel like it's been a couple of weeks before um, I would get another subscriber and Typically, I would gain a hundred a month, and now I'm just not getting anything. So I'm wondering how I could pick that up besides posting to every platform which I've done, like Google Plus and Facebook and whatnot, about my channel and videos and stuff. Is there any other way that I can help get my channel out there to get more sub active subscribers who will enjoy my content? I think that's a great question. I actually took her video on Glide and forwarded it to the rest of my video followers there on that app. And Scott actually submitted his answer to that. And I think it was really good. Here's Scott. My first question is, are you still getting views? You're just not converting those views into subscribers because if that is the case, then I would say to uh, make sure that your videos have a very strong and clear call to action to get people to subscribe and make sure that they're not crowded by a bunch of other calls to action. I watch a lot of videos where people at the very end rattle off, you know, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, favorite this video. And it's just, when you ask people to do that many things, they're not going to do any of them. So focusing on one to two strong uh, calls to action, like subscribing, for example, would uh, help with that. And also when you're asking them to subscribe, make sure that they know that it's not for your benefit, but it's for their benefit. Uh, instead of just saying, hey, subscribe, for no reason, uh, it kind of sounds like you just want them to subscribe just for, so you can get those numbers. But if you actually pitch the value of your uh, channel to them very briefly by saying, hey, when you subscribe, you get all of this great content that you'll love. And uh, this maybe even talk about your video schedule if it's applicable. Uh, so I think making sure that they know that they're subscribing, uh, that you want them to subscribe for their own benefit and not just because you want them to, I think that also really helps in getting, in uh, converting views to subscribers. Thanks Scott, that's really good. I have a couple thoughts on this as well. Uh, number one, I think that lulls are actually normal. They're part of like the growing <laughs> experience here on YouTube. I mean, video creators has definitely gone through lulls. Uh, my family's vlogging channel at youtube.com slash movies, that has definitely gone through lulls. And I think, you know, for a period of time, they're normal. There's a couple things you can do to maybe like shorten the lull, like doing collaborations. If you go to famebit.com, there's a link in the description below. You can go check them out. They have not only brand deals that'll help you make more money on your channel, but they have a whole community of YouTubers there who are looking for collaborations. So sometimes one of the best ways to break out of a lull is to get exposure from an entirely new community on YouTube. So if you have over a thousand subscribers, use the link in the description below. You can sign up and start making money for your channel through brand deals, but also start finding other creators to work with and build exposure for your channel and also for theirs. Another thing you can consider is making videos that are highly searchable. What questions are people that you are targeting on YouTube? What questions are they asking? What problems do they have or are they searching for online and make videos about that providing answers and solutions for them so that your videos are more likely to be found in search results. You can also try tapping into other existing communities online. You know, there's a lot of them, you know, like Harry Potter, The Hunger Games, or maybe even other creators like Shaytard. You know, if you have other creators that, you know, who share a similar audience as you, you can make videos about that community for that creator and do a lot of other things like that too. And the goal here is to make videos that show up as related videos to other videos that that community is watching. So try all those things, but if your lull still lasts, I personally would probably back off and take a, a hard look at my channel, at the content strategy, at my audience development strategy, and my videos, and my channel as a whole, and really evaluate what you're doing and how you're doing it. Because it's probably likely at that point that you have a content problem that is just really hard for people who, who are in your target audience even to really stick and gravitate towards your content. I have two eBooks that can help you work through this process. The first one is called The Secret to Building Your YouTube Audience. It's completely free. There's a link to it in the description below. You can go get it and download it. And that book will start helping you think about the framework you need to have in place for a channel to be successful and to grow an audience. The second book is called 30 Days to a Better YouTube Channel and this is a very practical step-by-step -step 
workbook that you will work through one day for 30 days and each day includes like a teaching like what do you need to know it includes some highly practical tasks and steps for you to do you know step one do this step two do this three think about this you know four and go through all that and then it also includes each day also includes further resources for you if you want to take that task and that teaching kind of dive into it really deep kind of take it to the next level and that whole entire book is designed to help you craft videos in a channel that are highly subscribable they're very sticky so you're not getting like a lot of different viewers and then they're just bouncing away never to return again like when you get a new viewer you don't want to have to put the work in over and over and over and over again to get any new viewers you want as many of those viewers to stick to your content to subscribe to your channel and then the book also talks about how can you craft a channel that once you get the viewers and they've stuck and subscribed how do you take those subscribers and turn that into an active and engaged community on your channel so the link to that book is also in the description below I know it's helped many creators really take their channel to the next level and so I highly recommend that for you not just because I wrote it but because I really do believe that can be very valuable and really helping you break out of this level and even if some of you guys are not in the level but you're just kind of slowly growing this will help you you know take that channel to the next level so instead of growing in like you know 100 subscribers a month you can do like what I'm doing currently here on this channel is over 200 sometimes 300 subscribers a day so links to both of those resources are in the description below you can go check them out if you're interested I also have a link down there to this book by Patrick Hanlon it's called Primal Branding I very highly highly recommend this book he looks at all the successful brands and breaks them down to the common elements that each of them has and a lot of these things are you know elements that we can and should and I have incorporated into our own video channels as well to make our channels and our videos as highly stickable <laughs> as possible I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below how would you answer Melody's question? What have you found works really well for you breaking out of a lull on your channel? What advice do you have for her and others who might be going through it? And if you are someone who is currently going through it, definitely go down there and read the comments and advice that other creators are leaving for you as well. We have an awesome community here at Video Creators and they are always sharing really helpful, valuable things. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Thursday, I take a question from one of you guys and do my best to answer it. On Tuesday, we do some YouTube news and look at all the changes and updates happening on YouTube. YouTube and keep you up to date with what it means for you as you're creating your channel and building your audiences here. And then on Wednesday, I give you guys some YouTube tips, advice, suggestions, ideas, things like that, just to help you guys out. Because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread, the world needs to hear, and I'll do everything I can to help you guys grow your channels and your audiences so that the people who need to hear what you have to say can simply find you and hear what you have to say, and hopefully that their lives can then be changed. So thank you for being a part of this community here subscribe and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.